Department of Environmental Science, BHNSNC Virudhunagar. Today we are going to deal about bio mining and bio leaching process. Right? So let me start with introduction. So what is bio mining? So bio mining is the pro term in which extraction of specific metals from its ore by means of biological methods. Ultimately, here we are using uh, microorganisms. Right? So it is an uh, alternative method of physical and chemical method by extracting mineral minerals. The application of biomining processes predates by uh, centuries the understanding of the role of microorganisms in metal recovery. However, the modern era of biomining began with the discovery of novel bacterium, so-called diobacillus peroxidans. So this is the microscopic image of diobacillus peroxidans. Right, so bio mining uh, basically encompasses with the two process, namely bio leaching and bio oxidation. So bio leaching is the process in which metals are dissolved from ore uh, bearing rock uh, by using microorganisms. So bio leaching, otherwise uh, called as microbial leaching. Why? Because it's said to be microbial leaching. Because uh, here we are using microorganism is the source material to recover the metals from its ore. That's why we said to be uh, bio leaching is uh, microbial leaching, right? So microorganism uh, is uh, dumped into the uh, ore area. Uh, after that, after that, once the bio oxidation process is done, we may get a pure metal of uh, metal of element. Then second process is bio oxidation. So bio oxidation is a process in which recovery of a metal uh, which is enhanced by microbial decomposition of the mineral but the target metal is not necessarily solubilized. Right? So bio leaching uh, that uh, in which uh, desired metal it can be leached out from the ore. On the other hand in bio oxidation the desired metals alone and other some compounds are leached away from the ore. Right, so these are all the microorganisms which were commonly used for a uh, leaching process. So basically, most commonly, uh, diobacillus the oxidants, diobacillus peroxidants. So these are all the two major uh, group of microorganisms. So we are mainly uh, using diobacillus species. So somewhat, uh, not only that, uh, diobacillus organisms. So some other microorganisms which also helped to uh, release out the uh, recover the uh, product metal product. So sulfolobus, uh, which can help to release or recover calcium and uh, arsenic uh, metal. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which can uh, help to uh, recover copper, lead, and tin. Penicillium simplicium, which uh, can provoke the uh, recovery of uh, chromate. Chemistry of bio leaching. So, diobacillus peroxidants, diobacillus uh, the oxidants, they have uh, always been found to be the present on the leaching dumped area. The species of uh, diobacillus is most extensively studied. It's a gram negative bacteria which can drive the energy from oxidation process. So the oxidation of ferric ions uh, which is the source of the growth of theobacillus. Right? So the reaction mechanisms are of uh, two types commonly. So what are they? Uh, direct, uh, first one is direct uh, bacterial leaching and second one is indirect bacterial leaching. So this figure uh, denotes direct and indirect bio leaching process. Right, so direct by a bacterial leaching. So in this process, uh, physical contact between the bacteria and ores are there, and oxidation of mineral which takes place through the enzymatic catalyzed steps. So by means physical contact between the bacteria and ores. For an example, pyrite is oxidated to ferric sulfate. Here the equation is the uh, here. Uh, so ferrous sulfide, which finally uh, produce ferrous sulfate and sulfuric acid. Right. So this is a, a common uh, basic example of direct biobacterial leaching process. So second one is indirect bacterial leaching. In this process, microbes are not direct contact between the uh, O's, right? But bacteria which can produce or uh, produces strong oxidizing uh, compounds uh, such as uh, ferric ions, sulfuric acids, or etc. 
right so for indirect bio leaching acidic environment is absolutely essential for uh, to do that job uh, in order to keep ferric ion and other metal in solution uh, acidic environment is absolutely uh, here itself needed itself acidic environment and environment which can maintained by oxidation of iron sulfur metal sulfides or etc so for an example uh, bio leaching of uranium is the best example for indirect bio bacterial leaching here, here uranium oxide uh, finally produce uranium oxide sulfate in contrast to uh, direct bio leaching and direct bio leaching so in case of direct bio leaching direct enzymatic attack on the minerals by microorganisms uh, in certain bacteria including thiobacillus peroxidans which can uh, transfer electrons from ion or sulfide sulfur to oxygen atom right so from the ion or sulfur ions which can transfer into the oxygen molecule so these organisms can uh, obtain their energy from the oxidation of ferric to ferrous right so ferric to ferrous right so indirect bio leaching uh, which produce bacteria they produce strong oxidizing agents or compounds including ferric ions and sulfuric acids which can helps in the oxidation of soluble ion or soluble sulfur uh, right so ferric ion or sulfuric acids which is a powerful oxidizing tool to react with metal and they extract the particular metals so there are uh, three uh, major commercial processes used in bio leaching process uh, namely slow leaching heat leaching and in situ leaching so in this figure uh, figure a represents slow leaching and figure b uh, represents keep leaching and figure c represents in situ leaching so first one is uh, slow leaching so here the ores are first ground uh, to get fine particles or fine pieces of metals and then dumped into the large leaching dump water containing inoculum uh, called uh, thiobacillus species is continuously sprinkled over the surface of ores water is collected from the bottom and used to extract metals and generate bacteria in an oxidation bond so we need to create the suitable uh, aquatic or uh, suitable environment to the growth of the bacillus then only the production or the oxidation process it will be occur right so second one is keep leaching so keep uh, here the ore is dumped into the large heaps site so it is called as leach keeps right water containing inoculum uh, called thiobacillus species is continuously sprinkled over the uh, ore uh, like slow leaching water is collected from the bottom and used to extract the metal or element and generate a bacteria in an oxidation bond and third one is in situ bio leaching in which the ore uh, remains its original state in the earth surface plastering of earth is uh, done to increase permeability of water water containing thiobacillus is pumped through the drilled uh, passage uh, to the ores area acidic water seeps uh, through the rock and collect at the bottom side again water is pumped from the uh, pumped from the bottom mineral is extracted and water is reused for for the use right so factors affecting bio leaching yes absolutely some of the some of, some of the factors which can influence the uh, bio leaching process so which including choice of bacteria so suitable bacteria which can only survive at the uh, high temperature acidic concentrated environment high concentration of heavy metals area so the choice of bacteria is the main role or main uh, criteria to play or recover the metal uh, from ore second one is ph and temperature so uh, affect leaching rate and microbial growth actually ph and temperature it can only determine uh, whether the bacteria or microorganisms it can grow or not right so microbial growth as well as leaching rate it depends on the ph and temperature of a particular species so third one is population density so high population density tends to increase the leaching rate otherwise uh, small population density uh, which can lead to decrease the leaching rate right so it's directly proportional to each other so metal tolerance so high metal uh, concentration may be toxic to microbes so uh, metal tolerant uh, species which we have, which uh, which is feasible to uh, select uh, or uh, subjected to bio leaching process 
Oxidation reactions, compositions, and activity. So it's need to uh, be low to obtain the fastest leaching rate and to keep ferric ions and metal in solutions surface area. So the rate of oxidation by the bacteria increases with the reduction in size of the ore and vice versa. Right. So in case of uh, rate of oxidation is uh, low, the bacteria uh, bacteria bacterial uh, population is low. Uh, then will be the uh, ore uh, uh, size of the ore also. Uh, increased right so here i cited advantages of bio leaching it's a simple process inexpensive technique no poisonous because we are using sulfur dioxide uh, so actually uh, this is a no poisonous one so no need of high pressure and temperature ideal for low grade sulfide ooze right so in very eco friendly process also so what are the disadvantages we look on as uh, so it's a time consuming one because it takes a uh, 6 to 24 month or longer uh, so it's a really uh, time consuming one so have a gray very low yield of minerals so through the bio leaching process we can only get a low yield of mineral more minerals so it's a it's also a disadvantages one advantage one requires a large uh, open area for uh, pre treatment or uh, pro, uh, Okay, treatment process. So it gives a large open area. So large open area required to, to do the bio leaching process. So may have no process control. Uh, high risk of contamination because of we are using uh, the obacillus in open area, right? So in case of uh, contamination, uh, which lead to the uh, collapse of bio leaching process, so high risk of contaminations are also there. So inconsistent yield because bacteria can't grow uniformly. So some bacteria grown rapidly, some bacteria uh, grown uh, uh, vigorously, some bacteria uh, grow slow down. So inconsistence are there, right? So thank you very much. Thank you.